said something along the lines of, I've read somewhere that a J uh, offers better heat extraction than a batch box system. And can you elaborate on that? And does that mean that a six inch J would be compared or an eight inch J would compare to a six inch batch box or something like that? And so I would just like to, I've heard that a couple times now, and I, I think that there's some confusion in um, terms. So first of all, the wording in that question said more heat extraction. And I'd just like to point out that the heat extraction um, is a function of the stove after the core. So that really doesn't have anything to do with whether it's a J or a batch uh, or really even the size. It, it has to do the size of the chimney or, this, or the core. It has to do with how much internal surface area you have, how much radiating surface, water heating, heat exchanger, whatever it might be, how much heat you're pulling out of that exhaust and whether it can still run is is how much heat extraction you have. So um, J's batches, no difference in heat extraction between the cores. Um, and then with regards to sizing, you know, I don't think, to be honest with you, that there's a significant difference in output power between, for instance, a six inch J and a six inch batch. Now there is some, that isn't, it's not fair to say that there isn't um, any output power difference and the reason for that is because you can simply fit more wood into a batch um, of the same chimney size however the J is really meant to be continually fed so it's not fair to just say we're gonna burn them both for an hour and only load them both once because in that hour you really could have been sitting there and putting fuel behind the burning fuel of the in the J, which is how you're supposed to run it. You know, as the fuel burns, you slide it forward and slide more fuel in behind. And it should be basically continually fed, as it were. Um, and so, uh, thanks for the vote of confidence there, Imalia. That helps. I was, <laughs> it's just, it's hard when I'm here. <laughs> so, um, so anyways, with regards to sizing and output power, I believe that for all practical purposes from a design standpoint, like when you're looking at a system saying, well, I want this much heat in my house, should I choose this or this? I don't believe there's a significant difference between a batch and a J. Um, the biggest difference is really just how you run them, like the batch you'll put in your, whatever it might be, 12 pounds of wood and shut the door and walk away. The J, you'll have your 12 pounds of wood stacked next to it and you might go three pounds at a time every 15 minutes or something like that. Um, so, you know, hopefully that gives you some clarity with regards to heat extraction. Again, that's going to be a function of the system after the core. So a system with three big empty barrels, or like we see a lot, and we talked about the other day, people who have half barrel systems that aren't covered with mud yet. So they just have half barrel metal radiators all through the system with a ton of surface area. They're going to have a ton of heat extraction regardless of the core. So, uh, so hopefully that gives you some clarity there. I know I've heard that a few times and I think, you know, sometimes the forums can be um, a little bit confusing because there's so many voices and it's hard sometimes when you're new to be able to, um, you know, separate the, the wheat from the chaff as it were. And, and so, um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I've heard that a few times and I think it's important. It's a good question. It's important that we get it cleared up because, uh, you know, definitely, we hear those things a lot. People say, oh, I heard this one does this. And then it gets to be sort of a known thing. Um, we see that a few times in our in our short life cycle here already. We've seen some, some poor technologies adopted because some loud voices th said they were great. Um, and we now are just kind of finally starting to get beyond those things. So anyways, there, there you go. On.